normally when you go on camera, you're supposed to count backwards. Fine. Okay, five, four, three. Oh, you've been live. Anyway, so we are live. Um, just to give some people a chance to join us, uh, I just want to quickly go over what we're going to be talking about. Uh, it is currently 4 o'clock uh, here in California on a Friday afternoon. I realize some of you are trying to get out of your office uh, just to go home. Um, as we're sitting here, we were going over uh, some client results for three different clients uh, for the past week. And we were also taking a look at some things that we saw on their sites and comparing them to something that we're noticing on the ArcSide marketing site. The ArcSide marketing site is sort of the, uh, the proof of what we're looking for um, that we think we're detecting on the client sites. And so we wanted to just very quickly go live with you, talk about SEO for a second, and what we've been able to accomplish, not only for us, but also for clients, and give you some of the examples that document that. Uh, so, since we're still waiting, uh, I hope everybody had a great Friday, good week. Um, what are your plans for the weekend? Type those in, get those thumbs working. Um, anyways, so, yeah, let's, let's just get into this, that way everybody can go home. So, uh, we will upload this on our YouTube channel uh, after we've pulled it down from Facebook. Um, and then um, feel free to, if you have any, any SEO questions, if you want to know uh, if a particular strategy might be effective, did Google make an algorithm change, um, what separates Bing from Google. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Bing currently occupies around one quarter to one third of all internet searches. Uh, Microsoft's been growing that Bing product, They've their results are better. Um, their performance in terms of speed and accuracy is much better. Uh, so uh, don't disclude Bing from an disclude, disclude? No, exclude. What yeah, exclude? Exclude. Uh, don't exclude uh, Bing from any of your search engine considerations because they have partnerships with quite a few major companies where they are the embedded search engine. Uh, Bing results and Yahoo results are nearly identical. Uh, so, anyways, um, so talking about SEO. SEO is ridiculously complicated. I think every business owner or manager understands that. We've all experienced that. Um, having your site cert, having your website rank well on a search engine is incredibly hard to do, especially if you are in a very competitive industry. If you are in a competitive industry, you may have uh, your own competition that is spending tens of thousands of dollars a month just to show up on page one of those search results. It's not uncommon, and in many cases, uh, it's also not a bad thing. SEO is a good thing to invest in because showing up on page one matters. Approximately 90% of people, when they're searching for something, don't go past page one. You want to make sure that that's where you are. The important thing is you want to make sure you're doing it correctly. If you are utilizing black hat techniques, black hat uh, to there's two basic camps of, of search engine optimization techniques. One is black hat, one is white hat. Black hat is describing sort of the underbelly of search engine optimization. They are uh, tactics that violate Google or Bing or Yahoo's terms of service, um, intentionally gaming the system just for the purpose of ranking. The search engines are built to discourage that. The search engines are built to actually discredit those, um, those types of websites. Does it work? Yeah, but if you are caught doing that or, or the methods that you use are caught, your site can actually be delisted, not just penalized. It's not like you're gonna go from page one all of a sudden your, your bad ideas were working and then all of a sudden you're on page three. No, 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 it's you're on page one and then you're gone. Like Google can actually eliminate you. This has happened to small and large companies throughout history and it's something that happens because they are doing something intentionally to mess with the search engine algorithm as opposed to earning the ranking themselves. So here at ArcSide Marketing, we do not offer nor do we recommend anybody using a black hat technique. The risk is too great. You invest too much money to all of a sudden have your website be eliminated from something as important as Google. So we don't do that, and we're gonna to talk today about some of the results that we get when using white hat techniques. Obviously, <coughs> excuse me, white hat techniques are the opposite of black hat. Black hat, 
you are using those things that are genuinely earning a solid ranking due to quality, reputation, uh, visitor experience, etc. So search engine optimization is complicated. The methods by which you achieve results are incredibly complicated. It is a very, very fast changing environment in digital marketing. Very similar to social media, except social media, you've got a lot of major players. You've got Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, LinkedIn, uh, Instagram is owned by Facebook, um, Pinterest, and then of course certain uh, foreign sites uh, like Weibo and, and things like that in Asia. Very, very dynamic in that. But in search engines, there's really two. You've got Google and you've got Bing. So incredibly complicated on sites like here, uh, we've got an example up of search engine land. Search Engine Land actually has an entire section right here. Google Algorithm Updates. That's how important it is. There's an entire section on the number one search engine um, uh, marketing site on Earth. There's an entire section just for those algorithm updates. Just so you know, Google does not normally confirm or tell anybody when they make algorithm changes anymore. They made that policy switch about a year or two ago where they said, look, we're no longer going to announce these things. We're not going to describe them. We're going to make these changes and you need to create sites that generate good quality content. That's what we've been doing and that's the documented results that we want to show you today. So real quick, just to give you a taste of how busy this is, um, this is a headline again from Search Engine Land. Google, alg Google algorithm update may be rolling out since June 25th. This came out two days later on the 27th. This talks about some very deep analysis that they've done and other major search engine marketers uh, about changes that they've seen. Um, this is on Algaroo. All of a sudden you see a shift here and then traffic drastically drops off here. Um, changes here in terms of temperature and how things are fluctuating. Uh, this is from SERP metrics. Fairly consistent here, a little bit of a dip and then a skyrocket. Keep that in mind, you're gonna see that later. Same thing here, massive fluctuations due to um, changes in results. There's one here. So the, again, just an example article here of what that looks like. Uh, this is a much more recent one from a couple of weeks ago, August 22nd, the day the Hawk Google local algorithm update swooped in. This is another one of those examples of why a company like ArcSide really helps our clients with SEO. We monitor this stuff. We stay on top of what's going on in the industry because we need to know this because a lot of things impact your search engine results. It's not just your on-site content. It's not just the backlinks that come from other sites into your website. Social media impacts it. People's experience on your website impacts your ranking. Um, Google's, um, Google's crawling bots, what do they discover? It's not just keyword research. You can build a page where you keyword stuff, you know, a blog post 50 times with you know, whatever your particular term is that you're trying to rank for, that will penalize you. Google will see that you're trying to stuff this and game the system and they'll probably delist that page or at least drastically penalize it. So we keep on top of these types of updates specifically because we need to ensure that we're doing things the way that the search engines want them to be done as opposed to trying to screw them up and putting our client sites at risk. We don't do that. So again, just another example, um, this is an entire article about the Hawk update, which is a change to local algorithms. Um, for those of you who don't know, Google used to penalize even competing sites where company A and company B are in the same industry and maybe they're located down the street from each other. Hello, car dealers. Um, company A and company B, same industry, they're trying to rank for similar terms or the same term exactly. Google will actually prioritize one business over the other, not just the pages, but they will actually prioritize one business and eliminate an entire domain if necessary. So very, very competitive. It obviously, things like that created a huge backlash and that's where Hawk came in. Hawk is a response to that where Google said, okay, we understand that some businesses may be really close to each other. We don't want to eliminate an entire site or an entire page. So what we'll do is we'll limit, it, we'll limit it to things like the same building. So if two financial investment firms are in the same building, they just became a lot more competitive because Google in most cases will only show one of their websites in search results, uh, or at least one of their pages trying to rank for the same thing. And the other page will actually be barred from showing up. So Hawk update, <clears throat> big change in that. 
Um, another one, featured snippets. We're going to talk about this in a minute. Featured snippets are these little things which you may have noticed at the top of Google where the very first result, or at least the first one under the ads, is actually inside a box. Um, Google has these little things called about this result and feedback because they, they started testing this a couple of months ago where these snippets um, are now showing the most basic and accurate answer to a particular question or a description of a subject, and then an image is pulled in. What we've discovered, however, over the last couple of months is that the image doesn't necessarily come from that site. And we're going to show you how that works. Uh, but again, featured snippets. So this is so much more valuable because this is not just showing up on page one. This is showing up as information one above result one on page one. That's a vital piece of, of, of differentiation between you and a competitor. Um, another example, accelerated mobile pages. How mobile compatible is your website? If your website is not mobile compatible, the odds of you showing up on page one are pretty slim. But there's ways that you can enhance that through what are called AMP, uh, AMP pages. And these are pages that load very, very quickly on mobile devices. Huge priority for Google. Most internet traffic around the world today is done on a mobile device, not a desktop computer. We keep that in mind when we design our clients' websites, when we consult on projects, we're looking at what is the mobile compatibility of this. So, very, very busy industry. This is what we're talking about, uh, and we have some results to show you. So, I'm gonna eliminate that for a second. Again, this started as we were looking at client results over the past week. We noticed something in the ArcSide uh, marketing website that documented this much more thoroughly and clearly. So let's talk about what we do and a difference between the longevity of a site versus a brand new page. Google has traditionally prioritized um, what I would call a heritage page, so a page of evergreen content, something that is um, not really time sensitive. It's not just talking about uh, you know, the Summer Olympics and tying that into marketing. It's more about uh, something that people can learn from on a regular basis. That's what most of our content is. That's one of the reasons that the first word in our company slogan is educate. We believe in teaching people how marketing works so that our clients can make informed business decisions and the general consuming public can make informed decisions about what they buy, where they buy, how they buy, etc. So let's talk about results very quickly. We've noticed that over the last few months, uh, probably two months, Amanda? Yeah, two months. Two months, okay. Um, that we were getting a lot more Google traffic around a couple of specific terms. We have had a page on our website for at least three years now. I don't remember the exact, how long that page has existed. Um, called Five Reasons to Use TV Advertising. It's a basic breakdown of, I'll just show it to you. The idea behind the writing of this page was that we wanted to teach marketers uh, why television A is not dying in the digital world and B, how they can still use it to be effective. So five reasons to use TV advertising. For those of you unfamiliar with our website, we actually do have a search bar right in the top right corner where you can search whatever you're looking for and it will bring you the most relevant pages. There it is, so four years ago, um, five reasons to use TV advertising. This is a very widely trafficked site uh, page on our site. There we go, nope, there we go. Um, really actually popular with colleges and universities around the world to teach students about how TV works in terms of the advertising. Uh, internet versus TV myth, etc. This page is four years old and has consistently ranked on page one of Google for at least a year. Uh, it's always been a very good performing site. But again, Google prioritizes sites that have been around for a long time. That's great. So we've discovered that we were getting more traffic from Google on this page than normal. We were showing up in more results, we were getting more clicks. That was a great thing. But it also helped reveal something else. Back in May, so three months ago, four months ago, uh, back in May, we launched a new blog post about broadcast media. We get a lot of people who are asking us about, you know, what is television and radio? Do they, are they really relevant anymore? So I decided to write a blog about uh, broadcast media and publish it as a blog as opposed to uh, a service page. So we launched that and over the past few months, we've noticed the following. 
Now, when we go into our Google Analytics page and we take a look at what terms people are finding us on, we notice that two, three, five, seven, and eight, oh, and 10, are now all about broadcast media. What most people don't understand is that not only does Google prioritize um, heritage pages or evergreen content, they're also looking for relevance. They want to make sure that it's answering commonly asked questions uh, or queries, I think would be a, a better term to use. This page is only four months old. We have just confirmed that here in Google, for the term broadcast media, this is not broadcast media in Southern California, ad agencies that do broadcast in Southern California. Uh, it's not local based. These results are nationwide, if not worldwide. We're still confirming that. But we're now seeing that broadcast media, just in the last few months, three months, we're looking at 90 days worth of data, nearly 17,000 impressions, 726 actual clicks from Google to our website, specifically to this page that teaches about this topic. Our average page rank is 5.2. When we narrow this down, which I can, Let's take a look at the last 30 days of data. Google has to be as fast as me. We've increased our average position to three and a half. If you look at the last two weeks, it actually gets down to, I believe, 2.8. Oh, we have a live viewer. Hello, live viewer who Facebook won't tell me who you are. Keeping us anonymous, thanks. Um, so this is an actual documented result again of two different things one you don't have to have really old content to rank if you write your pages correctly you structure them correctly then you can get results like this the other part that a lot of people don't know about the Google algorithm is that Google is no longer ranking you just for the keyword that you use a lot of old-fashioned SEO guys they would and they still do they'll structure a page and they take one phrase whatever phrase you're trying to rank for so let's say uh, if you're an attorney and you're trying to rank for a bankruptcy lawyer in Wichita, Kansas, then most old school SEO people are gonna be telling you, you need to create 50 pages and every page needs to have the words bankruptcy lawyer in Wichita, Kansas 12 times. Just dump it in there. We've gotta give Google a lot of stuff to look at and they need to know that your keyword shows up a million times. No, that's not the way this works anymore. Google's um, artificial intelligence system, their AI bots, have become much more intelligent and that goes back to what we were describing earlier in terms of keywords we're not just ranking for the word broadcast media it's broadcast media what is broadcast media broadcast media examples examples of broadcast media broadcast media advertising example of broadcast media google's algorithm is figuring out that these are related terms and this is what you're going to rank for now obviously broadcast media that's a huge term. That's kind of like bankruptcy lawyer or um, you know, best car dealer or something like that. Broadcast media is a very broad search term and it is not location specific. We have already confirmed this data through our partners across the country that we are showing up somewhere between two and four all over the United States. And thank you to those of you who helped us do, it, do this testing throughout the day. Uh, we appreciate that. The other thing is you still see that we're ranking and doing very well on Google for TV advertising, the source of the uh, blog that goes back four years. But the broadcast media, I'll go back to that one. Um, ta -da. Oh, and I'll talk about that particular link you just saw with that button. Uh, so <clears throat> the blog post that's now ranking really well on Google, pay attention to this image here, was only written on May 1st of 2017. It's four months old. The other thing that's very important to note is if you do a search for the term raw, if I know how to type, broadcast media, this isn't, that's the headline, just it's not keyword stuffing. What is broadcast media? Broadcast media, broadcast media, it's in one header and it's in a paragraph down at the bottom. This isn't keyword stuffed with broadcast media 12 times. It's not showing up in different ways in bold and italics and underlines and da da da. It's just good, relevant content. Now, I told you earlier that this image is gonna be important. 
Um, this is uh, the, that snippets are going to be important. I want to talk about that as well. This is the blog post. Very simply, let me kill the finding. Very simple, good blog post. Um, you also saw on a page a couple back that we had an ad for broadcast media. Now, this is where related content comes in and is very important. This is our page that describes our broadcast media services. But notice this is not what's ranking. Google said, hey, you've got a very timely article, it's a blog post, and it's got inf interesting information that answers a lot of queries. But Google's looking at this page as well and saying, hey, we're seeing this broadcast media stuff discussed in other places, therefore, your site must be relevant for that. So not only is the page relevant, but your site is relevant for this particular topic. That's important. Google needs to know that you're not using one page to game the system. Google wants to see consistency. Google wants to see relevance. These are all parts of the strategy to help you rank effectively on Google and Bing and Yahoo. So we take care of this. Now I told you to remember that page because, well, I'll just skip ahead to it. Um, so if we go back to this, you remember the image with the antenna. Again, custom graphic. This isn't something that was just taken from clip art. Uh, this is a custom graphic built by our production team. Great looking at graphic and that's nice. So the interesting thing is when you go look, do an actual Google search for broadcast media and I'll type, I'll do it again just so you can see it. I want you to notice something. This snippet does not come from the ArcSide website. It comes from OpsDog.com. Congratulations, guys. Uh, OpsDog.com talks about broadcast media as a definition and learn tools for broadcast media companies. Relevant link, helpful info. Notice the image. The image is not from OpsDog. The image is something that Google said, hey, this is most relevant. This is what's going to appear in the snippet. Now, you may be wondering, well, who cares about the image? You want to show up as this, Otherwise, the snippet is just going to go to these guys. Not necessarily, and we'll show you why. Somebody clicks the image. Oh, that's a cool image. Look at this button right here. Visit. Guess what happens when they click that? Takes them right to our website. In a very short amount of time, we have been able to achieve results for a blog post and a services page that shows up included in the snippet on page one of Google. There are no ads for this particular search. And going down, so here's the snippet. Here's some uh, recommended questions. One, two, three. There's our blog post. Not many companies can say that they have one page that shows up on the Google first page twice. This is the success of SEO. This is the work that we try to build for our clients, and this is a good demonstration of how it works. I also want to show you very quickly what happens when we do a Google search for why advertise on TV. I'll input it again. Bring up the search results. Add, add, snippet. Notice where the snippet comes from. It's the ArcSide Marketing website. So, in two different scenarios, we've been able to make two different pages rank well on page one, have it included in the snippet in national, if not worldwide search results, at least the English versions, um, and achieving those results because that is what gives you expertise. I should say it's what demonstrates your expertise. So we've gone through this process. Uh, we are in the snippet and again, how many times can you show up on page one of Google? In our case, twice. Page one of Google. We're here in the snippet, recommended questions just below the ads here. Number one, ad week. Obviously, major media website, it belongs on page one. Number two, us again. In this case, we are the snippet and on page one of Google, number two search position for the exact same page. This is why you don't use black hat SEO techniques because you want to achieve this. There's nothing that Google can penalize us for because we've done it their way. Now, they can change their algorithm certainly and we can watch these things fluctuate in position. But the bottom line is we know we're not gonna get penalized. We know things just may change and we have to adjust to that. It's always better to have it good at the beginning as opposed to trying to fix the broken. So we've gone through that uh, and then finally, 
we're able to confirm, and we do this for all of our clients as well, using the search console that Google offers, integrating this with their analytics tools, going in and seeing over time how have things changed. So in this case, broadcast media, again, the blog was published in the first week of May uh, about what is broadcast media. Notice that we are showing up more for broadcast media than an exact match for the page title. Google really saw relevance in the page. So broadcast media, 726 clicks over the last 90 days, 17, almost 17,000 impressions, average position of 5.2 over those 90 days. Well, if I just wanna see, great, you know, when did this start? How is it growing? What were the changes? We can do this for you as well. We log into the website and we can see that we saw a major spike. Google was basically, this is June 8th. Again, this is just last 90 days. So between June 8th and June 15th, Google was sort of pinging it on a regular basis, seeing what's going on with this. Come June 16th, all of a sudden we jump up from a position of 31 to 9.9. .9. We've more than doubled our position, uh, almost tripled it immediately, and then it just continues to grow from there. So now we're in the sevens, eights, sevens, sixes, sixes, and then continue it on until July 28th. All of a sudden we jump up to the consistent sixes and now we're in the threes and twos. And notice here uh, the red line, total impressions, the number of impressions, it's starting to normalize. It's not as chaotic anymore. Let me just get rid of that. It's not as chaotic anymore. It's starting to normalize here. Great positioning, great uh, average click-through rate is starting to normalize average position, not only normalizing, but improving. We remain in that uh, as of uh, four days ago, nine clicks in one day, 268 search impressions, an average click through rate of 3.36%, average position of 2.4. This is what happens when you do search engine optimization correctly. It's not always this fast. This is a wonderful example of how we've been able to build progress over time with both an evergreen piece of content and, an ex and a brand new, almost brand new, uh, blog post. But it's that combination that produces the best results. If you want to be on page one of Google within the next 30 days, go hire some black hat SEO guy. He's going to get you there and then you're going to get screwed when all of a sudden Google realizes you've done it wrong. If you want consistent results, do it the right way, do it consistently, build regular content that is of value to your audience, not you, value to your audience. Keep them in mind first. Build value for them. This is the kind of results you can receive. If you have questions about this, uh, I invite you to contact our office. We can customize a strategy for you. We don't do templated strategies. We don't do sales packages. If you wanna know what can work great for you, contact our office via phone, email, or social media. We're happy to help you. I want to thank everybody who tuned in. Uh, and again, we're going to be putting this on YouTube as well. So for all of you on Facebook, have a good weekend.